it's Chris from Sage of Gimble, and welcome back to the table. So today we are going to pick up on part two of the Perpetual Press to Table Max. Now, as we did in the end of the last video, we know we're $331 in profit right now if we pull everything down, but we're not. We're on the five last. We had just got through a recovery. Now we're going to continue right where we left off. So, start with a $2,000 bankroll. Let's see what we can continue. Continuously doing a perpetual press all the way to table max, but if we get, you know what, we stop and we we do a three hit system to get it back where we could, and then we continue. And there's a hard four, two two. That's a great one. Although that is going to cost us a four dollar vig. So let's pay our four bucks. One two three four. Four dollar vig. And that's going to pay us 90 on there, which is going to pay 180. There's one. And let's do 150. This one's 75, 180. There we go. All right. So we know when we get that hit, we can press 160 across, which is awesome. And we still got, I don't have enough yet. Don't have enough to use the, the change to get more out there. There we go. We are working the way up. And it's gonna be a six, three, nine. Look at this go. Six, three, niner. All right, so that nine has got now 115. So I'm going to do this real quick. Might as well while we're out here. 115 bucks, which is going to pay 140 for the hundred, and it's going to pay 21. So 161. So I'm just going to press 160. There's our 160 pressure, and there's my one dollar back up there. 161 is a the correct on that payout. 140. Yep, 161. We're just going to press this. This is a little bit of an amazing thought process on this. I, if I don't say so myself, I come sometimes surprise myself. First was the coin pressure. Now we're doing the perpetual press to table max. It's taken a while, though. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, we're going to have to see how this does with random, but... I don't know. And there's a one three four. Nice hit. Oh wow. One three four. What is that gonna cost us in big though? That's gonna cost us at least five, six, seven bucks. So we'll take take out of here. I don't think it really matters. There's our seven dollars in big. But we now collect there's 40, so there's 80. So 280. So let's see what we can do with 280 bucks. There's 100. There's 200. There's our 280 right there. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I know we can do that. We still have 100. 20, 120, 32, and I'm going to get four dollars change for this. Put that all back up here. One, two, three, four, five. We left the hundred over here, so that means we can press 96 on 
top of this plus that. So let's do this. So two, three, that there. Put an extra one on top because I know I can press all this. I'll put those spindles on top of that in a second. Those are just going to be. That is pressing press one and then I'm pressing three, which make that ah, and I put the other whites on top. That's right. I'm looking at it going, eh? There we go. Alright, press our three and three. Alright. We are working our way up there. Not even sure what we're really sitting at here. I'd say we're doing pretty good. Definitely got profits out there. And it's an ace deuce. AC deucey. The three. All right. I want you guys to think about something. I mean, bankroll's still pretty healthy. And there's a 2-5. I kind of knew. I kind of felt it. I kind of felt that it was time for it to come. All right. 2-5. Let's see what we got here. Could have pulled down, but we're trying to go for the table max. So let's see what we've got out here real quick, just so we can get this situated. I do apologize. We're gonna to to do a little bit of coloring up here, but I gotta. Those should be easy. So let me just grab two more here. So situated over here. There we go, because those are all the outside. We'll go do the same so that I can figure out the math here real fast. That's gonna lose too. Last line of lock. Alright, let's see. Just gotta do a quick color up on this stuff. I do apologize. That's a hundred. No, it's going to be the same for both here. Get the greens out of that mix right now. So don't get confused. All right. All right, we are at 222 on the 6 and 8. All right. So let's do some math real good. Where did my phone go? This one, this one may hurt a little bit. Because there was a lot of money out there, and I don't think $2,000 was enough. But let's see if we got enough to replace it. We got 185. So 185 times 4, 740. Ooh, plus 322. 1184. Ooh, we might hurt a little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 900. There's a thousand. There's eleven hundred. There's eighty four. Eleven seventy five. Eleven eighty four. Okay, we may have found the max for a two thousand dollar bankroll. All right, let's see what we can do. There's not lot much left in that bankroll now. We'll put our five dollars back out there. Move our calculator out of the way. Let's get a point, and then we'll see what happens. But remember, now we got to go into the perpetual press system. And there's a square pair, the four four. Now you got to set. You got to be honest. Got to be honest with ourselves right now. I'm not sure that. I mean. This is definitely a system worth I think I would play. However, I think we need to figure out what our max would be. Table max is, maybe it was a bridge too far. I don't know. Hey, 
And there's a 5-1 mixer, folks. Hit the like and subscribe. All right, I don't even know what 222 pays. So we're gonna figure that out on a calculator because my brain ain't working. 222 times seven. That pays 259. So we're gonna drop a dollar just to make this easier. So that's gonna pay two, one, two, now 60. Let's see what I can press real quick. Boom, 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 boom. That leaves me a hundred. All right, give me four dollars back. Give me four dollars. We're maximizing as much as we can press here. Three more, three more. Three. So that's the first one. Okay. Perpetual press, three hit. Five, six, one, five here. And it's an ace deuce. Tag on three. Always coming in. One deuce three. Really trying to see this thing. This is part two of this. Oh, that one's gonna hurt. Oh, four three. All right, we did not make it, folks. We did not make it. We would have lost everything. We'd have to start all over from scratch again. However, it is what it is. But I don't know. I do not know. What if I had, let's see. I just want to see if we would have recovered. We know we lost. Let's see. That's midnight. At 314, that would have paid. That would have been $10. That would have been 11 bucks. So I would have had to drop 11. So I'll imagine I dropped 11 bucks. Because I'm not actually going to get paid. So that's 225, which would have paid 450. Ooh, that would have been a good one too. One, two, three, four, and then fifty. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Which would have meant we definitely could have gone at least a three twenty across. Three twenty across pressure here. Shorted myself on there. Let's see here. I think we did that. 320 across. Let's see. All right. And this would have been 70, 90, 95. I would have broken that down to be 96. So. Leave that 15 there. I'm just going to do this. I'm just trying to see what we would have recovered here. So I'm just going to say there's 96 across. And then we would have thrown a hard six. Of course, it's going to be a six. It would hit. So 96. I know we're going to pull that back, but let's just do this real quick just so I can figure this math out. Sorry, I know you guys are like Chris in the video, but I want to see what we would have recovered. I'm not going to count this $18, but there's a hundred. There's five. Of course, that's five. Let's get it all covered up. I'll just take it back out. All right. So there's 
There's 30. There's 300. That would have paid 350. That would have paid 35. That would have paid 21. All right, I'm going to pull that out of there. And if we had pulled all that back down, if we hadn't thrown that big red, how much would we have gotten back? Would we have gotten back enough to save our butts or would we have to pull out of the game? That that was the danger zone right there. Let's see. I just want to know. With that three hit perpetual thrust, should we run to the ATM and get some money out? Get rid of that ATM. No, that was the extra from that last one. Alright, so we would have left everything up there. There's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, there's eight. There's nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a thousand. Two thousand five. Ten, fifteen. One thousand nineteen dollars is what we would have pulled back off of that. Plus what was out there. Plus what was still up in the rail. Hmm. Hey folks, we're gonna have to give this another run through. This was number two, but stand by and stay tuned for part three. We'll do a whole nother review on it. We might do this live. I think we might do this live. So stay tuned for part three or another take on this because there's that. Plus, you got to look at how much we had out there. I mean, we had a ton of money on everything. And we started at 160 just doing a perpetual press. But now, mind you, mind you, the danger zone is on that if you hit big red, you throw the seven. You've got to get the point plus three more hits, which means the first two are pressed, third hit, you, and you pull back down to what you originally were, and you would have been good. But look at the money we built. Even if I just look at that. So take this away real quick. Make it simple. All right, there's a thousand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a thousand dollars right there. All right? A thousand, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hold on, I'm, I'm screwing that count up. I just want to show what we were sitting out, out there. That's 75. So, 1,000. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 2,000, 21, 22, 75 right there, that would make 23, 24, 25, 26, 2,700 dollars, plus this little change right here, 27 and a quarter, plus some extra change here, there, all over the place. We would have been up seven hundred dollars if we hadn't thrown that five deuce, but or the four three. But we did. Sorry, I'm just kind of talking through this. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We are definitely going to roll this one back out. I my mind is just blown. Um, these videos are going to come out in a row together, so stay tuned. Uh, you probably watched part one. Stay tuned for part two, which is this one. We're going to do this again. Um, and hopefully we can make it all the way through. But look at that. We were, don't think a $2,000 bankroll is enough, though. I think our bankroll needs to be $5,000, $3,000. I think we're going to try this with a $3,000 bankroll. We're going to give it a shot, see if we can get to it. So, as always, guys, sorry another long video. 
please hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time, I will talk to you guys later.